PHD, which stands for glute ham developer, so we're trying to hit the posterior chain of the body. Um, you want separation in between the pad and your legs, super important. So you want your heels up under something, locking you down. You want separation. You, don't, you do not want to have that thing all the way up there, which is what a lot of people tend to do. So I'm going to show you the positives first. What you're going to do in this position is you're going to lay down, hands behind your head, and then lift yourself up and recreate that separation that you started with. So you're just going to relax, lay down, lift up, using the hamstrings and the glutes to do that movement. Now, um, if you struggle with that, you can kind of have the hands here and assist yourself a little bit. You can just do a little bit of a push off, but the less the better. That way you can build those hamstrings up. Another way you can get stronger at this, also a difficult movement as well, is to, is to do it negative, which is we're focused on the eccentric contraction. We're gonna tilt, we're gonna hold as long as we can, keeping the body straight. You don't want the butt out. You want the body straight. Eventually you'll fall out like that. Push yourself up and then repeat that movement. So we're really engaging the hamstrings, tilting, 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 hold it. Eventually you won't be able to hold it anymore. And that's the negatives on the GHD. The only other movement that you're ever gonna see there is a lower back raise. And in that case, you want the, uh, you want the knees a little bit closer to the pad. You're just laying down. We're lifting up, getting that extension, and really just working on strengthening up that lower back area. So those are all the movements that you're gonna do on the GHD.